Hey guys, so <laughs> I just told Cal, he was trying to follow me down here and I'm trying to like, you know, get my setup. And he's upstairs with David and I didn't want him to follow me down here. So I told him the Grinch was down here. <laughs> and he started running back upstairs. <laughs> I'm a terrible mom. But I've got, I have a square cup tonight. I couldn't find my round one. So this one is also from um, Crate and Barrel. That's where my big tall one is from. And I'm drinking, woo, ooh, gosh. It's almost like that blue cheese taste, you know? It's called La Crema is the brand, which I love. And it's Monterey Chardonnay. So that's what I'm drinking. But I'm doing another wine chat. I think these are fun and I know some of you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys really, really like them, but some of you guys hate them and that's cool. Don't watch them if you don't like them. Um, I have like one person who every single time I post a video, no matter what the topic is, they swoop in like 10 seconds after I post this video, they've got their bells turned on and they dislike it every time. And I just don't get it. They're like out to get me. Um, but you know what? I guess everyone's got haters. So it is what it is. So hi, if you're watching this and you're going to put a thumbs down, I'm sorry. I don't know. Tell me what I could do to, no, don't because I don't want to hear. I don't want, I don't want hate comments. <laughs> so anyways, aside from that, I think you guys are liking it and it's just like more fun to talk like casually with my wine. I hope you guys are watching this on your Friday nights with your wine or your tea or whatever. Um, and I'm reading comments from last Fridays because it's Friday and I'm reading and I'm like, praying that people are not, I just don't, I don't want to offend people. And I like, I need to stop because I can't just be a people pleaser. I'm not going to be a people pleaser. And I don't want to just make vlog. I love my vlogs and I love my sit down, like, um, videos about what's in my diaper bag. Like that's like how I started my channel and those are my favorite videos. But I also just don't want to come on here and talk about like what time my kid goes to bed every night. Like I want to talk about other things. So tonight I wanted to talk about cosmetic procedures. And this is not everyone's cup of tea or glass of wine. And if it's not, that's totally cool. It's not, I mean, I've never gotten anything done except for one thing, which I will talk about, but it doesn't mean that I don't want things done. Maybe possibly I'm going to be 30 this year. So I feel like there's a lot of things that I've like wanted to do and I've never done them. And I've never even seriously looked into most of them. Um, but I thought it would be fun to talk about them. And then if you guys have had any of this stuff done, you could comment below and tell me if you liked it, it was it worth it and your experience. So, cause I feel like stuff like that is not talked about that much, especially like for mommies, you know what I mean? Cause like, we're just supposed to be home and like caring for our children. We're not supposed to care about like how we look or like getting Botox and stuff like that. Okay. So. I bet you're wondering what I've had done and I don't, it's not really like a cosmetic procedure, but the only thing I've done other than like my hair and my, like getting my eyebrows waxed <laughs> is getting laser hair removal. So I did that 2015, four, four, wow, four years ago, um, before kids, we were in Mexico and these girls that I made friends with and met, they all had it done and like they, I was so jealous. I was like, wait, you don't have to shave. And it was like this whole thing. So I, as soon as we got home, I looked into it and David was like, yeah, sure. Like get it. He didn't know how much it cost. I didn't know how much it cost. Um, so I was like, yeah, I want to do it. So I went to ideal image. I think that's a chain. So you can probably, they're everywhere. Um, it was so expensive and I did my bikini and then I did under my arms and I do think so it was like nine treatments, right? And the, every time you go, they like zap off all the hair and then you go like, I don't know, three months later or something. And so it's a very long process. Like it takes like at least a year, if not two years. And then I got pregnant with Cal halfway through my treatments. So I had to stop, give birth, do all that. And then I went back and started again and then I got pregnant with crew. So I think I still even have one more treatment left but it's like a lifetime thing. So I can go back and like get more done like later on, like my whole life. But I just have to pay like, I think like 30 bucks or something for them to do it again. But basically they zap off all your hair and your hair still grows back. So that's the thing It's would I do it again? 
not for that price, not for what I paid. If you can find a good deal on it, but make sure you're going to like an actual nurse and not like someone's basement that you found on like Groupon. But if you go to an actual nurse, like it's definitely worth it. It's just, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be completely bare forever. Like you're gonna, your hair's gonna grow back in, but it grows back in like fine, and not fine, fine, like thin and wispy. So, you know, if you have hair down there, it's like, <laughs> it's like thick and coarse and dark. No, that's not how it grows back in. It grows back in like really fine and wispy and you can barely even see it. And if you have like struggles with like bikini bumps and stuff like that, like if you put on a bikini and you've got all those like bumps and like dark patches and stuff from where your hair um, follicles are, it fixes all of that. And it's insane because you never have like any like razor burn or anything like that. Even when you do have to shave, you don't have razor burn. So that part I think was worth it. Like that was really nice and I can still just like Put on a bikini and not have to like worry about shaving or anything like that even if I haven't shaved in like three months so it was good but it was so expensive that was the first thing that I've ever first and only thing that I've ever like purchased where David was like wait what <laughs> so it was really really stupid of me but we didn't have kids so um I didn't have like other priorities but things that I would like to do the first thing is Botox so I'm going to be 30 this year, and I've been wanting Botox since I turned, like, 21. David always says that I don't need it, which I don't think I, like, necessarily, I don't think anyone needs it. But I heard that it's preventative, and I feel like it makes your skin look, like, nice and smooth. So that's something I want to try eventually. I don't think you can do it when you're breastfeeding. And it's not something that I'm, like, willing to just, like, get, like go spend a bunch of money on. It's something I would want to, like, really think about and, like, find the right doctor and, like, do I really need it? That's kind of why I'm making this video. Like, what do you guys think? And then I've heard something called Dye Sport that's like maybe an all natural Botox that um, is a whole lot cheaper. You know, you so, if that's an option, I would love to do that. Hi, babe. Hey, well, I got a ball. You got a ball? So, I don't know. That's something that I'm considering. So, let me know if you've heard of Dye Sport and if you like have any experience with it. Um, another thing I've been wanting since right before I got pregnant with Crew. Hey, hey, I thought you were saying night night to Mama. You saying night night to me? Uh, <laughs> Do you want to get in? Look. We're talking about cosmetic procedures. Look. What? What's that? Okay, now we're okay. gonna go say night night to baby. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, another thing that I've been wanting Hello. since oh, the toy is just gonna keep going in the background <laughs> since before I had crew is lip filler. I've been wanting lip filler so bad. Again, another thing I can't get like while I'm pregnant or breastfeeding. So any of this stuff, if I even choose to get any of it, it would be like at least September of this year, but I don't even think, so I'm turning 30 in November, so I'm like, that's why I'm trying to like feel out, like should I like think about it, like, I don't know. But I would love lip filler, and I feel like it used to be like, to, it was like, ugh, people are getting like ginormous lips, but now I feel like a lot of people get it and you don't even know that they have it, and you can't even tell, but it's just like enough, like I would want enough in the top just to like give me a little bit of plump, because my like lip like disappears when I smile, I don't know. So that's another thing that I would like. And I don't want to hear the comments that say like, oh, you don't need any of this. Like you're superficial. You're like, I'm not, it's not about that. I'm just like talking it out with you guys. I want to know your opinions. Um, unless they're mean, then don't tell me. <laughs> the next thing is my stomach. No, no. Let's get to that in a second. Cause we're on the face, right? We're on the face. Micro blading, microblading. Never considered it until like recently when I did that vlog and I got my eyebrows um, tinted, which they are starting to fade. I don't have any makeup on them right now. I don't have like eyebrow pencil on them right now. So they're still pretty dark, but microblading is when they basically like tattoo your eyebrow on you darker and like fuller. So you always have your brow on. And I think that that's kind of cool. I don't know how much it costs. I think it's probably inexpensive and it lasts like 18 months and up to three years. So that could be really like nice to have because I don't tint my eyebrows that often because I just can't like get out of the house and like get a babysitter, like do all that. So like I only tint them like, I've only done it like three or four times ever. 
but when I do, I always really love the results. So microblading would be like a permanent, semi-permanent result to have. And I think that that would be really like nice. I don't know. Um, okay, stomach. So we all have, if we're moms, we've got the mom tum going on. I had the like biggest out to here beach ball belly. So of course I got stretch marks like all up and down my stomach. You guys, if you've watched my uh, postpartum videos, you've seen my stomach. Um, and people are always like, it's not that bad. And like, honestly, I don't care that much anymore. When I had Cal, I went and had a consultation. <laughs> they probably laughed at me. I had a consultation at a place six weeks postpartum. Six weeks postpartum. Like, how was I even, I was still bleeding probably. Like, no, probably not. But like still, that's really soon to go to a place and have a consultation for some, some work. But anyways, and it was not surgery, but they suggested that I did skin tightening treatments and laser skin resurfacing treatments. And it wasn't that expensive, but they told me if I was going to get pregnant again or planning on getting pregnant again, not to do it and just wait, which I agree. At this point, I'm not sure if we will have another one. And I feel like that's a whole nother video, a whole nother video, but I'm just not, I don't want to close that chapter yet. So I don't want to like do anything drastic to my stomach or body until I know that that chapter is closed. Um, but the other thing is like, I don't want to do something if it's not going to work right. Like, I don't know. I don't know what a tummy tuck is. That sounds scary. Like that's actual surgery. Um, I don't know if that fixes stretch marks and stuff. I think that's just to make you skinny, right? Which I'll just go to the gym. Like it's not about that. It's about the loose skin and the stretch marks that I have on my stomach and I'm fine with just wearing one pieces, but it's just like, if I could find something that I knew would work a hundred percent, I would do it in a heartbeat because that's the thing is just like, is it really going to help? Like, cause they were like, yeah, it'll really help, um, improve it or like make it look better. But like, is it going to make it look completely better? Like before I had a baby or is it just going to like lighten up the scarring? So I don't know. So I would love to know if you guys have done anything about scarring. Um, I feel like I've tried every cream under the sun, literally every network marketing company's cream, every cream at Target. Like I've tried everything, every like natural remedy. I've tried it all and I just can't find anything. And at this point, my scars are two and a half years old. So I don't think they're going anywhere and the loose skin. So that's something that I really want to fix. And David is all on board for that. He's like, if there's something you can find that'll fix it for you, like, sure, go do it. Um, but again, it's like, do I do it now or should I wait until we're really done having kids? Okay, the last thing, this one I'm so torn on. A boob job. I don't know, right? Because like, okay, I've breastfed both babies. Still am breastfeeding. If you, bre <laughs> if you breastfeed your babies, you know. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, it is just like, there's some memes out there that just describe it perfectly, like what happens to your chest. And right now they're fine because I'm full of milk, but like afterwards it's like deflated balloons. And so that's another thing I'm like, I would never, like looking back in my early 20s, psh, I would never think of getting a boob job, ever. Now I'm like, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's all, that is surgery though. That is scary. And that's like a big change. And then I see people I've seen. So I watch videos about it too, because I'm like curious, like there's a lot of YouTubers and stuff that I follow, like um, Haley page who have had boob jobs and then regretted it. And like her situation, she got pregnant right after. So I would totally regret getting one before babies, but after you're done having kids, I feel like it's a good thing. But then there's also like those stories of people saying like where the implant made them sick and just so many crazy things go with it. So I just don't know, like, I don't know if I would ever actually do it. I might be too like chicken, but I think it would be nice to have a boob job. And that's another thing that David is totally on board with. He's like, yeah, if you want that, like, yeah, go for it. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Yes or no? You guys are gonna be nice and say, I don't need it, but I don't know. I mean, I know I don't need it. I don't. Because why? Who cares? But I just feel like it gives you a little bit of confidence. Same with the, the stomach. If I had to choose, I would pick a smooth stomach, though, over, like, perky boobs. I would definitely pick my stomach over that. But 
at least with the boob job, you know you're gonna get them and they're gonna be nice and perfect. With the, something you do with your stomach, I just don't know if it would ever completely fix and heal like what my stomach looks like. So, yeah, those are my things. Those are my cosmetic procedures that I wanted to talk about. So let me know if you guys have thought of those things, have done some of those things, would never do some of those things, and why. And if you regretted doing some of that stuff. So I think that that is it for tonight's little wine chat. I hope you guys enjoyed and give me more topics to talk about. I've got a few other things that I want to do. Um, and I've just been kind of thinking of them spur of the moment. So I hope you guys enjoy like this mommy wine. It's not mommy. We're not talking about mommy stuff. Why do I always have to be? Because I'm the new mom. That's why. I set myself up <laughs> to make mommy videos. Yeah. But anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.